everybody, this is Raxabilius coming at you with another Minecraft episode. I hope you're doing all right. I did it. I think I'm calling it. I don't know. It's not necessarily done, but the house is here. It has a bed and some chests inside, but let's take a look at the outside quick. I want This is the focal point, obviously. I wanted to get a good amount of cherry wood in there, and this is I found the best way to do it. Uh huh. Cherry wood, cherry wood, cherry wood, cherry wood. Right in there. Then, the, but I didn't want the whole house to be all cherry wood stuff. Some highlights are, you know, a little bit of the cherry wood in here, but mostly birch and this is oak and birch. Uh, I think that all kind of fits together well. Maybe the cherry wood is starting to take over the the house a little bit. And I use the new hanging signs as uh, outside drapes, we'll say. <laughs> Just to add a little interest to the window area there with the cobble and the uh, stone slabs and smooth stone slabs and stuff like that. Uh, over here, which you didn't see from the from the uh, thumbnail, is there's a little jut out over here. It's kind of my bedroom inside. You'll see in just a second, but... There you go, just a little bit. The supports for the for the roof there. Uh, more landscaping needs to be done for sure. And also, we need uh, lights. I need to get to the nether so we can get some shroom lights as some, uh, I'm going to call it landscape lighting. And then around the back, nothing too crazy. Uh, just this pattern here. It's a very open design. It's like not a sealed off house at all. Uh, the glow lichen as well, adding a little bit of interest here and there. But I just wanted to do something a little different in the back, because inside we can have chests to get that against that wall. And let's take a look inside here. And the wood goes along the outside, kind of the same pattern, only with planks. It is a half slab floor, so nothing sits right on it. I gotta fix that. The interior is not even like close to done. I might put this row back in. I'm not sure what to do with this here. I might maybe switch those around so that. It's this color on the outside, only still caved in. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, more work to be done. I've just got my uh, sleeping bag here for sleeping. And I've started to bring up my stuff from the little house, on the house on the hill over there. But yeah, so today we're going to, obviously we looked at this. It's going to be another shorter episode. I, uh, I am uh, going to be out of town a lot in the next three weeks. So it's going to be maybe four weeks. So... Uh, I got maybe one more episode and then we're going on family vacation. I'm not going to be home for two and a half weeks because of work and family vacation. So there might be a little break in videos, but there you go. That's the quick update. And let's get going on the fence. I don't know how far I want to get with the fence. I think I might try to show you the the gist of it, the, the kind of the perimeter fence, uh, the gist of it. But um, we're for sure going to put down some of those uh, fire torch lantern thingies I wanted to, I think I was telling you about so I need some netherrack thankfully we don't have to go to the end for that or the port or the nether for that we've got the abandoned nether portal over here so we'll just go to sleep first <laughs> and go grab some of that netherrack over there <sighs> villagers right like he's just kind of stuck over there I lost a lot of them I went down I went down mining and there may have been something going on up here while I was down mining. I, I'm up to 11 diamonds. Uh, as you can see, I haven't made anything yet with them, but uh, I'm just for fun. I don't know why. I thought this was, what did they, I just looked, I thought he was the, oh my gosh. These guys need to be more organized. <laughs> These guys need to be more, more organized. Where was that? I just, I swear to God that was him. Weaponsmith. He's still around. The fisherman, another farmer. I could have sworn the dude. I looked before I started recording, and the dude was in. The, is there two of them over here now? Is that the deal? It looks like there's only one. He was selling a stone pickaxe, and now he's a farmer over here. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm pushing through with these guys. So. Uh, anyways, let's just give it a shot with this iron pickaxe. I'm going to run out of pickaxe here pretty quick. And I wanted to just buy a stone pickaxe from the dude. That was right there. I was like, well, I might as well just buy it from him for fun. <sighs> Not that I think that he's going to live, but, uh, anyways, let's get started on the, on the fence line. The only thing I, I have a design. It is by, uh, I want to get this right. Yes. Inspired by diamond lobby. 
was their uh, name. I just Googled fence designs because I was having a hard time thinking up something. Uh, kind of uh, inspired by Diamond Lobby. I can already see here. This is going to be interesting. Um, I definitely want one right here. So we're going to build a, let's build it in line because it's easier when it's in line. Uh, it's going to be a super simple, not like that, uh, torch setup. Like we'll do that and then we will put a nether rack block on top of that. And then we will right here, these oak trap doors, super simple. The fencing is going to have a lot more uh, detail in it. So I didn't want these to be every, if you use stairs and stuff, I get it to be too big and all sorts of issues were coming of it. So I went a little simple on this and then let's light it up right like this. Whoop, not like that. Ugh, there we go. And there we go. So that's there. And then the fence, fence design, uh, it's going to be going right up against that. That's fine. Is like this. Got some of the not cobbled. Let's do uh, cracked deep slate bricks. We'll go like that. And then on this row here, we're going to do kind of a combination. It's going to be a little wonky here and there. And I don't know if I'm going to stick with the birch. I think the, the, the spruce looked better. So I'm going to do that. Let's go sleep somewhere quick. All right. So you've seen this variation before where you put a gate on and then it goes down and then you can put, it'll connect to a fence right here and it stays down. So we can put like a fence post here, fence post here. Let's do another gate for variation. I've got a, I could have sworn I had, oh, I put it on there. Let's put this one right there. So you see how that one's lower and that one's higher just for variation. And then we'll do that here. And on this side, we'll do kind of the same thing. Let's put the birch on this side. It goes down, perfect. And like this, and then the, these are gonna be tough. Like doing the, uh, doing these uh, ups and downs and stuff and curves. I haven't even tried a curve yet. But uh, that's going to be the general idea of it. If we have a longer stretch between cherry trees, uh, like this would have been a great example, but the water's there. So I'm going to probably, I don't know, I got to figure out what I want to do with like this specific area. But I'm going to do something like that without, well, this one will probably have the torch there. But uh, if we have a long stretch without a torch or a cherry tree, I want to do something similar to this where there's a little pillar. And then on top will be one of those new decorated pots. And on top of that will be a flower pot and one of the new torch light flowers fits in there. I think that'd be a good way to show off our torch light flowers. So yeah, that's kind of the basic design for this type of wall here. And like I said, I've got to figure out like, <laughs> maybe do some terraforming where this is more of a sheer wall. Uh, Cause I don't want anything to get in here because I, like I said, I've already lost some of these villagers. And uh, once I really start working on them, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, um, uh, lo keep losing them like that. So, okay, sidetrack. Look at this. Look at this is where he was, right? I swear, I was just over here. I mean, maybe I'm tired because I, <laughs> uh, I don't. This was a farmer, right? Now look at. Now he's the toolsmith again. Is he sw is he swapping professions? But he's already. I've already made it. Oh, he is swapping because now he's got a stone axe. To, it was a stone pickaxe before. All right, that's what's going on. Problem solved. All right, I gotta go make a pickaxe now. Ooh, I'm really glad I put that tower on the house. That looks pretty cool. You can kind of see it from down here. It's not all hidden by the hill. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Uh, over here, so back on track, sorry. I got more pickaxes so I can do this, but we go down here and I haven't, let's see. So this is, how am I gonna do this? Let's do it this way a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, good progress so far. Um, let's go this way just a little bit and we get some torches here. Go one more block so we can build a wall there if we need to. But I think if we keep digging this way, like I said, I haven't tried this out yet. Ooh, some coal. I like that. Come on now. I think we're getting close. I hope we're getting close. Uh, 
Oh, this might be getting a little bit too far away. Shoot. Hmm. Uh, this is... Ooh, iron. Ooh, I need this. I'm so short on iron. Oh, my gosh. So, I need this iron. <laughs> oh, gosh. I need to go digging, but I don't want to go too far away from the villagers uh, without a bed because they keep dying. Uh, so, I need to build this perimeter, but I need iron. You know, it's just like this catch-22. All right, let me show you what I had in mind. All right, so the the room going down to the mine is right there. And I thought, right? Like, have, <laughs> am I going below this? Ah, uh, shoot. I was hoping I, uh, maybe I'll keep digging. Let me keep digging a little bit. Well, what, what, what coordinates are we at? 34, 36. And 219. Let's go. Can we get down there easily? I think we can. And we're talking about uh, level 63. Let's go see where we're at. Yeah, this is where we were at above us. We were at Y63 and we're at Y58, so we're, we're below it. I could, like, kind of... Do this type of thing where the hallway kind of goes up a little bit, maybe. But I'll show you what I wanted to do. So I wanted, I was, <laughs> without looking at anything, I was hoping it was going to be maybe closer to over there. And we would have basically something come out like with an enchanting area. And we'd be able to maybe decorate up the cave a little bit around it. And, but there would be no way on or off. The only way to get to it would be through that mine area. And have like the enchanting set up in there, and then maybe even later we could, we could uh, um, make it bigger, and have different platforms for different things, kind of more in the air, but like maybe grounded into the wall or something like that. But we're below this whole area, and it's not quite as grand as I was hoping. But the good news, the good news is I have another idea. All right, so here's our piggies on the other side. That was where we just were. And what we could do is dig into either this area here and make like an enchanting setup in there, like a little enchanting cave. Or we can do the same type of thing up here. Kind of have it right below our, our house up there. And this is our temporary house setup here. And have the enchanting set up here. Maybe make like a. What well, would be nice if we did that would be like a library. Turn this into like a librarian thing. We'd probably tear the house down and make a new build here, and have our librarian area here with stairs going down this way, and then you could cut them off so that they don't. So they're kind of stuck in this area, and this would be like our librarian area with mystical. You know what? I like this idea. I like this idea. Put the enchanting table back there, make it really mystical back there, but then out here have it kind of spilling out a little bit into this area with a nice librarian build here with two or three librarians. I think I think that's the plan. I think I want to do that. But uh, like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode. Next one's probably going to be shorter as well. You know what I want to do next episode, though? I am going to spend the iron, and we need to get out of this area. <laughs> we need to explore. I want to map out the area a little bit more. Uh, so I think we're going to do some exploring at, with a map and kind of see what's around. I need more blocks. I don't even have spruce. I mean, no spruce. Let me take a nap. Into the nice sunrise. <laughs> no spruce. I mean, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. So I need to get out of this area. So the next episode is probably be that. I think it'll be out before I am. I don't touch foot in my house for two and a half weeks. <laughs> so it'll be out before then. And then there'll be a little bit of a break and... I can still make progress, but I just won't be recording anything. And uh, I'll probably like finish up the perimeter. I want to get that done. And yeah, I just need to make some progress. I've got 11 diamonds. I want more. I need a lot more iron. And uh, yeah, so I just want to make some progress. So anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next episode.